action. I don't think I've spoken to the vlog yet, um, but we're in Galena for the Labor Day weekend. And we were originally supposed to get here probably at this time, but I ended up having the day off. So we got to leave earlier. And so we got to eat dinner and see a glimpse of the town. So you're gonna get to hang out with us all weekend. And I'll show you literally everything that I can. We are walking into our hotel now. So I'll tell you more about that in a second. Because I'm hoping I made the right choice on hotels. So we're staying at the Country Inn and in Suites. And so far I'm vibing because look, there's an arcade next to our room, which is, it's not going to be really loud. What are you going to win me? I want you to win me that necklace. <laughs> win me some jewels. Oh, you're going to get that rubber nut. We just got into our room. It is as expected. And we're going to go to the arcade that I showed you that's honestly right next to our room. The fitness center is also next to our room, which is super nice. Um, hoping to wake up and go there before our first thing of the day. We have a fairly packed schedule tomorrow. We're planning to go to the Alpine slide. I booked the two slide and the one for the zip line. I have no idea what I booked, but the website kind of sold me. So we'll see. We're gonna try to do that early after we probably get coffee and then maybe breakfast after the slide or before. I don't know, I haven't figured that out. And then we're gonna walk around the town. There's a ton of cute shops. I'm very excited to go to this bird shop. <laughs> and then um, we'll get lunch somewhere. It looks like there's a sandwich place. And then I forget what happens in the afternoon. Oh, we're going on a distillery tour and then we're getting dinner at an Italian restaurant. And then honestly, I don't know what will happen after that, but it sounds tiring, but fun. I hope you win it. This is what Connor won me. We're here. Okay, we made it. We are doing the Alpine slide in the Soaring Eagle zip line. Is it bad I'm a little bit scared? I think this is the Eagle zip line. I don't really know. I don't know what we're doing. At least scared. I am a little bit scared, but I heard some little kids being scared and I think it'll be fine. I want to see someone go first. We saw the zip line and it doesn't look scary. <laughs> I want to go home. <laughs> She's terrified. Oh, this is a cute photo. Look at the camera. You can't tell I'm wearing sunglasses. <laughs> seems to be doing the zip line first so we're doing that first because I want to see everything happen before I go on it and I haven't seen anyone go down the slide yet I'm too scared <laughs> another picture So here's the slide we just came down. We're on the lift back, which is honestly pretty fun. Look, there's a bike. See the bike? Mm -hmm. Talking to Connor, not the vlog. And we're almost there. Oh, 
there's someone going on the zip line. Mm -hmm. Everybody watch. That's what Connor and I did. It was not that fast. It was only a little scary at the top. I was mostly scared I was going to drop my phone because he said, you better hold on to your phone as I ripped it out of my pocket. All right, so we parked. We had to park up on a street up, but honestly, it worked out really well because this is like the beginning of like the little town part. So I'll show you where we end up. We're probably going to start with coffee and maybe a little snack because we had a little bit of stuff at the hotel because I had a free breakfast. Looks like they have trolley tours if you guys want to go on that. But we're getting coffee. Okay, I got this sweet and salty latte and Connor got a s'mores macchiato and there's literally marshmallow on top. I changed into my afternoon shirt which is a tank top because it got so hot when we were at the slide. So I did bring another shirt because I wanted to wear my long sleeve, but I'll probably switch back to that at night. Cheers. Come on, let's go. Shop is the bookstore. I am so excited for this store. We made a purchase at the bird store. Now we're going to Rustic River. I wanted to go here when I saw the window last night. donuts and they were out of two packs so we got the six pack Connor's gonna do the grand donut reveal they smell really good so we walked down one side and now we're gonna go down the other side and see what we can find supposedly this is Galena's oldest house so take a look at it we walked around and we have a distillery tour in like 40 minutes so we're gonna head that way and then we'll see what happens from there. We made it to the distillery. We're early, so we're getting a drink before the tour. I got, as recommended, this one. Connor got The Legend of Zelda, which I think sounds terrifying. distillery tour. The tour was a little boring. The ending was fine. It was just a little long. Um, our tour guide was super nice though and the overall bar was really good. We had one drink before the tour and it was really good. I loved mine. I got mine had the Hellfire Vodka in it. I think Connor's had the gin and the bourbon in his which why did he get that? I don't know. Um, but we got to sample like three little samples of the I showed you this but the gin the five-year bourbon and the hellfire vodka which was like spicy with peppercorns and peppers i think and that one was my favorite because i don't ever just drink a, like a sip of gin i don't like bourbon or whiskey or any of that and then the vodka was like so spicy it just tasted spicy i would recommend going maybe just to the actual bar though and the gift shop the gift shop was super fun dinner now it's up the stairs okay this is where we're having dinner it was recommended online um and i'm gonna get pasta maybe i don't know which yet but i'll let you know our meals come with a salad and this delicious looking garlic bread i am so excited here's connor's dinner and mine it's literally so nice out right now i don't know what we're doing now we were driving in, I saw there was a Piggly Wiggly, so we're just going for fun. Um, because we kind of have nothing else to do tonight. So, we're gonna see. It's honestly beautiful out right now, look at the sky. Another big win by Connor, of course. I wanted this one though. Good morning. It is September now, so this may be going in the September vlog. I haven't decided how I'm going to break up the August, September, potentially Galena vlog. 
We are going to get some baked goods at the Galena Bakehouse. Um, I'm excited. And then we're gonna try a different coffee shop, Galena Coffee Roasters. And then I don't know what else, but it's very quiet. It's nine o'clock on Sunday. So it's been nice, a lot of parking. And the weather's nice and there's not a lot of people. So come along. All right, this is it right here. We're playing Chapel Road in here, so we already know it's good. Okay, this whole picnic table was wet except for this side, so I'm sorry for the sun and the lighting. But I'm just gonna do a quick haul of what we got at the bakehouse. We got an egg white, like mozzarella, basil type empanada. Connor got one with hash browns and something else in it. Bacon. Bacon. Um, this is Connor's lemon muffin, and then I got this like raspberry Danish. Um, so now we're just gonna enjoy because this lighting's awful, but we'll let you know how it is. Now we're walking to Galena Coffee Roasters. In terms of my opinions on the bakehouse, I really liked my Danish. That was really good. Even the bites without the cream cheese or the raspberry were good. Um, and I liked my empanada. It wasn't like the best empanada I've ever had, but I thought it was good. And I liked that it had egg in it. Um, a little protein. Connor? It was good. Um, hash brown, I wish it would have been a little crispier, but Ooh. the empanada was good. Um, and then I got the citrus muffin. The lemon flavor was really good. The top was good. The bottom was better than I expected. Still a little dry, but other than that, it was a good, it was a good spot. It was nice in there. Yeah, I would go if you came, if you They're come really to Galena. Nice yeah, the people were really nice in there. I think um, it's definitely worth going. And I kind of got worried it'd be really busy, but I'm pretty sure it doesn't get that busy. What time is it? We well, went they, at nine. they almost sell out by 3 p.m. They close so. at 3 and they almost sell out by 2. So, like, you can take your time. I would recommend going earlier, though, just because why not? Um, and now we're going to hopefully get to the coffee shop and I'll let you know how it stacks up against the Trolley Depot. <music> So we'll taste them for you outside because it's hectic in here. I'm just sitting here drinking my coffee. And Connor's pacing around aimlessly. <laughs> we want I want to go into the store because it said they sell Webkin, so I want to see it's it. Closed. It opens at 10. It's, there's not a soul in where the Lola's Deli was. And now we're in this antique store and it's actually pretty good. I've seen a couple things I like, but they're like a little bit expensive. Like I wish they were like $10 cheaper. Um, also I'm having like such bad allergies in here, but it's a nice shop and a lot of stuff. We're in the little book room. Now we're in the second level. So far I'm just gonna get one thing. This is me mailing all my postcards after our weekend trip. We also drove by this, so we're stopping here to see what's in store. Like, why do I feel like this looks like a restaurant? Is it? No. Oh, looks like they have a bar or something. Or maybe it just was a bar. Either way, this looks really cute. <laughs> probably in that antique place for an hour How and we, we got zero it was not great I mean if you're over here you might as well go but we were in there so long that we were hungry so we're going to Lola's Deli which I showed you earlier and then we're gonna go home <laughs> 